Welcome to the number one spot health and wellness practitioners go to double their current income and turn their 10 hour work day into a 10 hour work week. Join us as we dive into the tips, tools, and tech you need to create a life and practice on your own terms, more freedom, flexibility, fulfillment, and of course, funds. It's time to build your online practice. And I'm your host, Michelle Rogers, also known as The Wealthy Woman. Be sure to subscribe for your weekly dose of education, inspiration, and action. Let's get started. Holy heck, we are here. I want to just take a brief moment to land with you because we are about to disrupt the paradigm together, (laughs) right? I mean, the thing is, we do things a bit unconventional in my world, right? Not only from a health perspective, but from a life perspective, we live differently, right? If you're new to my world, I want to take a moment to just introduce myself to you, let you know what's going on with this podcast, what to expect, and towards the end, I'm going to give you a time-sensitive gift that I have for you, so stay tuned for that. So you might notice that this is actually my 100th episode, which is absolutely wild, (laughs) but I'm treating this as kind of my first The reason being is I recorded the first 99 episodes when I was still in the midst of running my own online functional health consulting practice. So the topics, the conversations, the interviews were really targeted towards a completely different audience, right? So fast forward several years and now, you know, at this point in my life, my main purpose, passion, mission is to help other health and wellness practitioners start, grow, and scale their very own online practice. So whether you're ready to hit your first 5k month or consistent 50k months or beyond, I have got you covered. Now, let's back up a moment. Back in 2012, I graduated from Bastyr University up outside of Seattle, Washington, And I dove straight into primary care and the whole insurance paradigm. Four years later, I was borderline depressed, okay? I was exhausted. I was depleted. I was resentful of my patients. Obviously, not a good feeling to have. I was second-guessing what I was doing, right? Like, am I supposed to even be a naturopathic doctor? Am I supposed to be an acupuncturist? Did I get into this field? Like, what have I done? (laughs) Like, what the F was I thinking when I willingly went into 300K of debt, right? $300,000, more than that, of debt to go to school to get these degrees, not to mention the time, the energy. (laughs) Basically, I was, I was miserable, okay? I couldn't imagine doing the same thing for another two years, let alone another 20 years. So something had to shift, like quick. And at the time, my realm of possibility was a bit narrow. You know, the only other option I thought was available to me was starting a private cash-based practice. That's literally the only other option that was presented to me that I thought was possible. And so that's, that's what I did. And so I ended up joining a wellness center and um, just across the border, I was originally in Portland, Oregon, and I moved over to Vancouver, Washington to a wellness center. And I was there, I did that for another couple years. And it was during that time that I started experimenting with programs and packages, which was totally different than what I had done before, right? I was doing just a fee for service hourly rate kind of thing before that. And it started working like it was okay, but something was still missing. I wasn't totally fulfilled, right? And I thank my past self for really tapping into that intuitive nudge, that gut feeling that like something was missing because I could have easily just stayed doing what I was doing. You know, I could have just accepted the level of comfort or complacency that I was in, but I didn't. And as it would happen, 
there was this massive snowstorm in the Pacific Northwest. I think it was, I think it must've been 2017 at the time. You know, I think we called it the snowpocalypse or whatever we called it. Um, but this moment was really pivotal for me because I learned two major things that were essential for me to dive into starting an online practice. One thing was that I realized that I was trading my time for money and it was not optimal, right? Like at the time I was still practicing acupuncture. So you have to be in person for that, right? And I was also integrating a more functional approach to health and wellness with labs. I've been running labs since before I even graduated last year. So basically I ended up losing all the income I could have had from acupuncture consults during that time, right? Like, because I literally couldn't go into the office, people aren't going to pay me for treatments if I can't give them treatments, right? And so the second thing that I realized was for my naturopathic only clients or patients at the time for functional consults, I was able to do Zoom calls. And I was like, wait, what? This was revolutionary to me, right? This is back in 2017. This was like not what people were doing, okay? So the light bulb went off and I realized that this was something that I could figure out. This was something that I needed to explore more, right? The thought of no more commuting. I had a half an hour commute back and forth every single day. No more trading my time for money because I was already experimenting with programs and packages, right? So things were starting to stack in my mind of the possibility of like the the realm of possibility was starting to get wider. No more rent or other utilities for my brick and mortar, which was a huge expense, right? And so I think it was about three months later, I was 100% online, like I basically did it cold turkey, which I do not recommend doing, especially if you already have a practice and you're considering going online. Don't do it cold turkey. It's just like really, really hard. Unless unless you have a really nice sized nest egg and you can take things slow and intentional and all of that kind of stuff. But instead, I do recommend doing a transition and we can talk about that in a future episode if you'd like. But um, yeah. I, it, I struggled, let's just say that. Like I was running out of savings, like the small savings that I had pretty freaking fast, right? And I was just, ended up consuming like everything that I could, like Amy Porterfield's podcast. I know some of you listen to her, like Jenna Kutcher's podcast and online courses and freebies and webinars and master classes. And I was basically like this cookie monster of like online business resource consumption, right? Just like, blah, <laughs> right? But like looking back, I'm not sure how I kept moving forward without any evidence at all that this could actually work, right? Like people weren't doing this. Practitioners weren't doing this in the online space back then. I just had this idea. Like I just had this this idea, this sense that I could make it work. But like no one else was online. No one else was modeling what I wanted to do do. And so I am convinced that my special sauce back then was being delusional. (laughs) But for real, like, that's what I needed. Like, I needed to be a little bit delusional to move forward in the way that I needed to move forward. You know, and I was getting all kinds of kickback from other naturopaths in the industry, other practitioners in my industry. And like I said, my money was running out. So I actually picked up a side hustle working for Rover, right? Where I was house sitting and dog sitting to pay the bills. It was tough. Like, I'm not going to lie. It was tough until I finally found the right mentor for me. And I'm not going to get into it in this episode, but I did go through a couple other mentors who were in the functional medicine space and, you know, we're making promises and claims and all these things. And I ended up burning probably about $30,000. Um, and unfortunately those, those mentors were not an ideal fit and they were not able to help me in the way that they, uh, claimed that they could, right. Which is one of the reasons why I ended up starting my own mentorship program, but I'll get to that in a moment. 
Um, but basically I found the right mentor for me, you know, someone who knew enough about the health and wellness industry because she was really health conscious herself. And she ended up helping me to bridge the gap that I needed. And after putting some crazy dedicated focus on this proven blueprint that she had had, I was able to bring in just over $50,000 within like six to eight weeks. It was insane. I was blown away. And within six months, I had passed the six figure mark. Like I had unlocked something that I never thought was possible. I never thought that I could do it, that I had the ability, that I had the capability, right? Like I, I, I always hoped I secretly could, but I did have a level of self-doubt, but then I just proved myself wrong and I kept <laughs> proving myself wrong. Like this was real, this was happening, I was doing it. So after several months of things really working out consistently, I started having more and more practitioners reaching out to me from various backgrounds, right? Like nutritionists, acupuncturists, naturopaths, wanting to know what I was doing and how I was doing it. Like, how are you working online? What is that? Right? And so I decided that maybe this could be a direction for me. Maybe I could help and train and teach. So I decided to do a little soft launch of a mentorship program that I was putting together. And I sent a few messages out with a very rough outline, like nothing was pre-recorded, like nothing was prepared, nothing pre-recorded. I just created this rough outline of kind of this program or this course that I was thinking about putting together. And no joke, within 48 hours, I had six practitioners sign up. And to be honest, I was scared shitless. I was like, oh my God, this, this is going to happen. This has to happen now, right? <laughs> but like, who am I to be mentoring other practitioners? Like what? Like all the imposter syndrome thoughts just flooded in. But I decided, of course, to push through, to make it happen, because clearly practitioners wanted and needed what I had to offer. And I remember this previous mentor of mine had said, you know, you only need to be a few steps ahead of someone to, to lead them. And so I did it. I jumped in. I created what was then called the Wealth Mentorship. Now it's called the Wealth Academy, right? I built it out week by week, lesson by lesson. As these practitioners, as these six practitioners were going through the program, I built it out. And now fast forward six years, right? I've trained, coached, mentored, taught over 130 practitioners inside of my programs. And when I sit and think about the impact that this has created, it's literally mind blowing, right? Like not only facilitating more freedom, flexibility, fulfillment funds for their lives, but also for their families' lives, right? The lives of their clients and their patients, right? It's so freaking easy to forget the potential impact that one person can have, right? Not only that I can have, but that you can have. And so, you know, the whole point of this podcast, the point of coming back here after a five year hiatus is to get back to why I started doing this in the first place. I'm here to help shift the health and wellness paradigm. And I can't do it alone, right? The more practitioners who realize that there are other options, other paths, other business models, other modalities, the more people are going to be impacted, the bigger this ripple effect gets to be. So like, let's do this, right? I believe that we can be of service without living a life of servitude. I believe that empowered practitioners lead to empowered people. And when I say empowered, I'm not just talking about some fluffy term, right? I mean that you're fully showing up with all of you because you're being 
fully supported in all areas of your life, your physical health, your mental well-being, your emotionally regulated, right? You're financially secure. You're feeling connected to a source, a higher power, nature, the universe, God, whatever term you're most comfortable with, right? This holistic health and wealth, right? It means we're committed to growth and transformation. We're not ashamed of having high standards and holding healthy boundaries. We're constantly reminded how resilient and adaptable we are because we're freaking resourceful human beings, right? And we're always open to the realm of possibility, meaning we're masters at turning obstacles into opportunities. We are a different kind of practitioner. And by simply being, like really being ourselves, we obliterate the competition because we actually care. We know the impact that we're capable of. And together, right, we're creating a movement in the health and wellness space. And the fact that you're here right now listening to this literally means the world to me because it means that this is happening, that this is resonating, that this ripple effect is spreading. So the intention of this podcast is to educate, inspire, encourage, and embolden you to step into your next season, whatever that might look like. It doesn't matter how fast you get there as long as you're taking the steps in the right direction. I want this podcast to be a go-to resource for you, whether you're just starting out in the online space and working towards that first maybe 5K month, or if you're seasoned and ready to scale past consistent 50, 100K months, whatever that might be, I am so here for it. I am here for you. So let's do this. Each week, I'm going to be sharing a variety of things for you from solo casts where I'm riffing on topics, opinions, questions, whatever else is top of mind that I think would really be beneficial for you to know about. I'm also going to have interviews with experts in parallel industries to continue to open your mind to other possibilities and learn about different options available to you, whether it has to do with health tech, legal updates, complementary modalities, or financial freedom strategies, right? I'm going to be sharing some targeted masterclasses on specific topics to help you build your online practice from the ground up. And finally, I'm going to be sharing practitioner spotlights where you can tune in to hear from other health and wellness practitioners from various backgrounds and modalities about their transition from brick and mortar or in-person practice to the online space. So you'll be hearing from naturopathic doctors, medical doctors, nurse practitioners, chiropractors, acupuncturists, osteopathic doctors, physical therapists, nutritionists, and more. So some will just be audio and others will have audio and video components that you can actually watch on my YouTube channel at wealthywoman.co. It's always spelled W-E-L-L T-H-Y, like wellness, okay? One thing you'll realize about me is that I am not here to put you in a box. I will guide, mentor, coach, and teach you what has worked for me or what I've seen work for other practitioners in the industry, but you get to do you. The more you infuse your own essence into this work, the more magnetizing you're going to become to your dream clients. Those are the ones that you absolutely love working with, not just anybody with the pulse, okay? (laughs) And the more fulfilled you're going to become. We are here to create a life and practice on your own terms, which means we go above and beyond average, right? We don't settle for mediocrity or the status quo, right? We're creating something that most people only dream of if they even do that, okay? Now, for this time-sensitive gift, I mentioned the absolute best way for us to make this paradigm shift happen is to make sure it gets in front of any and all practitioners who are ready for the shift. As far as podcasts go, one of the best ways to spread the word is by leaving a review. So for everyone who leaves a review between April 3rd and April 9th of 2024, you're going to gain access to one of my programs, my trainings, 
that are valued at $770 for free, okay? So just be sure to take a screenshot of your review and send it to me so I can send you your unique coupon code. These trainings are anything from getting the foundation set up, like business set up, legal compliance, financial foundations, practice management, mindset, behind the scenes, uh, finding your niche, right? Creating your offer suite, all about social media, magnetic marketing, heart-centered sales. There's so many to choose from. So whatever area you're needing the most help in right now, that's what you can choose. Also, for those of you who are current or past students, since you already have access to all the things, by leaving a review and sending me a screenshot, you're going to be entered to win a complimentary one-on-one -on -one consult with me. <laughs> all right. So with all of that being said, let's get to it. Let's build your online practice. All right, that's a wrap for today. If you want the exact breakdown of how I help practitioners go from their first 5k to consistent 50k months with just two offers, 10 hours per week and an audience of less than 500 people, be sure to click the link in the podcast description or head to wealthywoman.co forward slash breakdown. To make sure you don't miss an episode, be sure to subscribe. And for daily online practice insights, follow me on Instagram at wealthywoman.co. Let's create your life of wealth full of abundance, purpose, health, wealth, and joy.